Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my uh, channel. Today's video is going to be a short video about how to change your uh, internet access password uh, for uh, Bell 5. So uh, this uh, is a video as a result of some of the questions I got on my video of how to remove the Bell Hub from your network. And uh, some people asked the question uh, how they uh, should uh, change their password because sometimes the technician that installs the fiber to your house doesn't tell you uh, what the password is to access the internet. So if you want to change it or if you want to put your own modem and take the hub out, you need the password. So let's get to that. Uh, what you need to do is open your uh, open the bell.ca website and uh, you log in or register. There is a login button or a register. For the register part, you only need your account number that is on your one bill or uh, your account number when they set up your uh, internet. Uh, one email address and uh, that's pretty much it. And then all your information will be uh, pulled uh, into your Bell account. So going back to the login page, if you click login, you will see that um, uh, your Bell account has uh, the information about your services that you have with Bell. So for example, I have the internet. Um, uh, they listed a home phone here, but it's not my home phone. I don't have a home phone with Bell. I think it's an old one. I used to have a home phone with Bell. It's just based on the address. So looking in here on the right side here, you have change your modem access password. So basically click here. And uh, strangely enough, Bell doesn't ask for existing password, which uh, in our situation is a good thing. So you just put your new password. And uh, you confirm your password, press save and uh, then you will have to go back to your uh, router or hub or modem, whatever you're using and uh, change your password in there after you change your password here. Um, some other questions that I got on my, uh, on my uh, video, it was if I did any changes in the router section. And my answer to that is no, I did not. I'm using a Merlin firmware uh, for my ASUS router. Since my last video, my ASUS uh, 86U broke and I'm using uh, a 68, uh, actually a 66B1 router, which is a 68 with a better processor. And uh, I'm going to the one section that I showed in my last video. Uh, basically where you have to set your password is right over here, right? If you change your password, you go and change your password right over here. Uh, some other question uh, that I got is how do you set your um, MTU to 1500? Um, the ASUS firmware the, doesn't come with this option to, it doesn't let you put 1500 here. Merlin firmware lets you put this one here. Um, other question that I got was on the IPTV section where you tag your uh, LAN. And um, here I didn't do any settings except just selecting manual setting and tag the 35 point. Actually talked to somebody and uh, they said that they will try to tag port number four for um, to get uh, IPTV here, but uh, I didn't get a response from them if they actually did or not. Um, another, another, uh, Another questions that I get on my uh, video it was uh, what's my speed? I pay for I pay for a 500 down, 500 up, and um, I get the speed on the wire connection. I get the the speed if I if I this is my uh, this is a wireless connection I get I'm having here. Uh, I'm in a basement right beside the router. And uh, you can see this is a wireless connection uh, and uh, pretty much is 
almost up there. Um, on the wired connection, I get the full speed, so I have no issues with that. Um, another thing, another thing that I'm, uh, another questions that I'm getting is like, how is my network map? And um, I have no issues with that. Uh, I have no interruptions uh, with the Bell network. I never had to actually restart that uh, media converter. Never had to do that. Um, sometimes I have to restart my router. This uh, 1900p has some uh, some issues with the memory, and uh, sometimes it fills up the memory and uh, that kills the internet. But it's not often. Um, I know it has a schedule, so you can reboot your router. More informer, so uh, I'll get to that. Um, so basically everything is good. I have no issues. Uh, I have Bell internet connection uh, 500 up, 500 up for like a year and a half now. The biggest struggle with Bell is probably everybody know is uh, uh, negotiating uh, at the end of the one year or two years, whatever your contract is to negotiate a better rate or a better speed. So uh, sometimes probably you'll have to switch to Rogers or uh, try to get Bell to give you a good price. Um, yeah, so basically that's that's pretty much it. I have no uh, nothing else to tell you. Uh, everything was fine. So um, probably my next video, I'm gonna show you how my uh, uh, setup is and how is my router and my uh, media converter setting up in the house. Like I mean location and how the cables are uh, running around the house. So uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video.